Hi, I'm Marna, and this is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and I am determined to make more clothes for my chubby Blythe doll. And I was at a flea market, and they had this, I think it's a champagne bottle cover, and I have made many, many uh, ugly sweaters out of the, um, I don't want to use these scissors, here we go, um, out of the uh, little sweater covers for dolls uh, and the little ornaments. In fact, Darren and I did a challenge, I don't know if it was last year, a year before, a year before that, where we asked everybody to come up with a um, ugly sweater for their doll. So what I'm thinking I wanna do to try this, see, she's so chubby. Wow, I'm not even sure that'll go around her. Surely it will, well, we'll, tr we'll try it. Well, that's the big side, so we'll see. What we're gonna do is Cut this up the back. Let's cut it up the back and try it on her. I wish that plaid were a little bit more straight because if it were, I could cut right up the edge of it. But the coat, I'm just gonna do this. It was a dollar, if it doesn't work out, that's okay. Let's try this on her. I thought it'd be like a cute uh, Christmassy winter dress with the belt, kind of a Santa Claus. I think I'm going to gather the neck. Oh, the arms are a little long. You know what? The arms are not open. I'm going to have to slit these, sew that down. But look here. That is going to work. If I, boy, almost work. I will tuck these under on either side. And I think I'm going to go, I don't know that I can sew that shut so I might, because of her arms, because of the, the length of her arms are so far apart that if you sew up the back, it doesn't give you enough room to get it on. All right, so I'm gonna cut it here, cut it here, make some adjustments, and we'll be back and show you how it looks. I have a few projects going on, forgive my table. Here's what I've done so far. I am not crazy about the gold buckle but I am afraid that if I take it off, it will ruin uh, the ribbon, which is the perfect width and everything. Now it is sewn on, and then this is sewn all the way around, and I just don't wanna take a chance. So for right now, I'm leaving it. And I did just what I said. I gathered right under the fur and uh, put, put a zigzag on the uh, each side to um, finish the edges, and then I turned it over once. It's really cute on her, I'll show you in a minute. But what I'm gonna do now, I want that folded down, is put my snaps on. And I wanted to show you how I do my snaps, and I think I needed to come down to here. Let me get my glasses. Um, I like snaps, I hate sewing them on. The first thing you do is if you're, um, I don't know why, but in where I was raised, you put the left side over the right side of your fabric when you're uh, adding buttons or snaps. So what we wanna do is we wanna come right there. And the first thing I do is hide my knot, and that is I put it in and then I come back out next to that knot and put my bottom side down. And my bottom side has the female side of the um, snap. And what I do, I use a double thread. You know me, I like, I'm heavy handed. I like everything right and tight. And then you just go from one side to the other get that knot underneath better and I do two stitches on the one side having trouble seeing the black on black on black with black and then you go to the other side it has four holes and what I'm saying is I do two stitches on this side then I go over here I do three on the other side. Don't ask me why, that's just how I've always done it. And then I will show you how I tie this off. This is the back side of my snap, 
And I'm a two knotter. Some people just do one. I'm a two knotter. I just go into the fabric. I hold my thumb where the um, thread comes around so that it doesn't knot up or twist. Add a knot. And I do the same thing again. Putting my thumb inside that loop. Pulling tight. Take your needle and put it inside that hole, that loop, and you're done on the one side. Okay, to sew on the other side of your snap, the male side, what you wanna do is line up your fabric, your uh, piece of uh, clothing. Then you put your finger on right where you want that snap. I'm lining it up with this, and this is going to go, this came out on the uh, good side of the fabric. Now we're going on the back side of the fabric. And once again, I am gonna hide my knot underneath, come back around, and then I'll do the same thing on this, and that is to go two stitches on one side, three on the other, and if you, I usually do the three on the inside or the downside, and then I do the two on the opposite, I, or I do the, the other side of the snap, the opposite, so it's not bulky on, so you don't have six layers, you have five on each side. And that's how you sew on a snap. Okay, there are extra threads here from when they sewed the um, outfit together. And what I'm gonna do is carefully trim these threads just to make it look nicer, and nobody sees the inside, it's just something I do. One more little trick for sewing on a snap. When you're sewing on the male side, sometimes your thread will get over that snap, the, the protruding snap. So what you wanna do is put your nail over that as you pull that thread forward so that it stays on the correct side. I bought these um, hair clips, they're hair snaps or clips, snap clip, I don't know what you wanna call them. Um, six for, I don't know what I paid to be honest, but I got the big one because, I got some small ones too. For the Blyce, they make wonderful uh, whimsical and otherwise hair snaps and what I'm thinking I want to do is open this hat from side to side so that it falls sideways in her hair but when it goes in her hair you have to remember it goes this direction sideways so when you line these up you need to look at that and figure out which way, you know, like the hat will fall against your head that way. So what I wanna do is do it like that. And what I'm gonna do is, the only thing is I don't, I don't like that seam showing, but let's do it anyway. What we're gonna use is the trusted hot glue gun that burns me and hates me. And I put a lot on because I'm very heavy handed. When you use a glue stick, always have an extra. And what I want to do is kind of get this as open as I can. Kind of like that. So that it lays kind of like that on her head. So then I'm going to do the other side. And then we have to let that dry a minute. Let's see, I want it open like it's sitting on her hat. I mean on her head like a hat. All right, let that dry a second. When I hot glue, I always try to do it on an advertisement that has kind of slick um, feel to it. It keeps your countertop nicer. And for me, it doesn't burn it. All right, I love these headbands. I think that is so cute. Whoops, forgot to get her black shoes. Please forgive her. All right, let's see. We curl or brush her hair a little bit. I love these little Blythe dolls. I like all sizes, including the chubby Blythe. 
which is on a Mimi Bobec uh, body. All right, let's put this kind of towards the top of her head. And I want to catch that hair and press down. Fold the hat over. Uh, it didn't work exactly like I thought it would. It needs to be higher. Let me, uh, let me put this up higher. More on top than to the side. There we go. Now, I think that needs a little more. Yeah, I don't know. Still cute, though. It's got that whimsical look to it. Kind of cute, isn't it? Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue Channel. Boy, the holidays are going to be here quick. You know, for, for Darren and I, holidays start September 25th, which is his birthday, and they just continue through, well, St. Patrick's Day. So they are coming quick. If you have crafts to do for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, <laughs> you better get on it because this time is flying. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.